This is how my story begins. I found Daddy's old Corona typewriter in the barn. Francis Pratt, personal information. Nickname, Frankie. I hated the name Francis. I lived in Cornish Flat, New Hampshire. I was almost 18. My mother gave me a scrapbook as a high school graduation present. I typed one page every day and glued it in my scrapbook. I wanted to become a writer, and this was my first story. I lived in a farmhouse with no modern conveniences. I told fortunes with my two best friends, Bessie and Lizzie. The cards said a mysterious stranger would change my life. After high school, there was no money for college, so I worked as a nurse for old Mrs. Pingree. And there, I met my mysterious stranger, Jamie Pingree, her grandson, home from the war. Jamie took me for long drives in his roadster and snapped my picture with his Kodak. When my mother found out, she decided it might be a good idea to go to college after all. At Vassar, I met rich girls from Park Avenue and boys from Yale. I read all the new writers and met Edna St. Vincent Millay, who told me I should move to Greenwich Village after graduation. But I decided all the real writers were living in Paris. I spent my nights drinking with other expats at left bank cafes. And then I found out that love and success were not in New York or Paris, but in the place I least expected. <laughs>